sin más. Ahí vamos. Después de 30 años. Esto es Monkey Island 3, 2.5 o como lo queráis llamar. Bienvenidos a Return to Monkey Island. Música buena. Menú raro. Pero a ver, estamos en 2022. Mira el álbum de recuerdos si no conoces Monkey Island no necesitas un repaso. Hey, wanna see my mighty pirate scrapbook? Pero y los subtítulos? Ahora, ahora. Hey, wanna see bueno, my mighty pirate no scrapbook? Vemos... It's filled with my adventures. Claro, no saben inglés porque es una cosa que no me gusta que no hayan doblado, pero bueno. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. Esto lo hemos visto en YouTube, o sea que vamos a empezar y ya está. Modo difícil, está claro. Nada de modo casual. Y vamos a ver cómo continúa la historia. Come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Lo estoy flipando un poco, eh. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I can't believe you never had one. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. A ver si os digo la verdad, no parece como que hay nada. O sea, I wonder if this is drinking water. What should we do next? We've got to get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Serie de Nickelodeon. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello. Está claro que esto va a cambiar, pero bueno, no sé a dónde. He's dead to the world. Sounds real. Lo que no sé es si de verdad están solucionando todo lo que Some places you go have scurvy dogs todo lo que pueda haber bueno, decir que está todo no sé cómo fingido o que lo flipamos un poco They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it <laughs> I once had the hiccups for four days straight It says return outhouse key when finished or else I'll bring this right back sir You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> A ver, he you de kids momento. better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we 
get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Oh, I know. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Bueno, vemos el inventario. Good. You unlocked todo. it. Está bien eso. Adiós. Madre mía. Uh, what is this stuff? Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? <laughs> no way. You do. Okay. Ugh. Gross. Gross. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm? Bueno, vamos a volver al tío este que tenemos el doble falso ese. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. Okay, what are you getting? What? No Just kidding. Tampoco. Here's yours. This is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. In France. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Let's not go back there again. Exhibit removed. Aww. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Perfect. See you around the park, sit heads. Vale, sea. Por cierto, no le hemos dado la la llave al tío. No se la hemos devuelto. Lista de tareas del gran piratilla. Buscar a nuestros verdaderos padres. Dar de comer a la pata. Qué raro. Hey Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! Hostia, hostia, se ha dado. Es que no sé, no parece Monkey Island realmente, pero bueno, vamos a seguir viendo, vamos a darle una oportunidad de, va a darle una oportunidad de momento. Hey, hands off! Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Come along and find your real parents. Excuse me. Yes? Never mind. I 
I can stand on my head without using my hands. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. I want to say two scurvy dogs at the same. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. You should put that on your scurvy dog. <laughs> Parece los Sims esto, no sé, esto es como... Let's be frank, you can never hope to beat me. No way, you'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. You guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I wonder where this path goes. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As, let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. I found one. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. I should find a coin to throw in. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Vale, nos ha dicho que a lo mejor no podemos volver, por lo cual si queremos terminar esto, que sería lo suyo. Es que nos hemos dejado algo. ¿Dónde está la ancla ese? Ah, está aquí. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about. Anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. Vaya, yo pensaba que si lo aguantaba y no lo soltaba me iban a dar un logro. Por eso no me lo he soltado. Es como un tutorial esto al final. Vale. Eso es otra ayuda, lo de ver las frases anteriores. Bueno, está bien, pero... Hay que darte comer a la pata. Quitarla, quitarles el pan a estos. That's our bread. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? 
kids these days have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. Gotta run! How rude. Ahí está. Yo creo que es como una especie de tutorial todo esto realmente. Para que los que no juegan aventuras gráficas sepan un poco que hay que buscarse las mañas y eso. Pedir un deseo en el pozo de los deseos, pero no tengo moneda. Ah, si sí hay una moneda aquí. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Joder. <risa> Son todos gilipollas, te venga. I wish Chucky had momento. a mustache. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Y nada, vamos a ver al gallo grande este que había aquí. Hey dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey kids. Having fun? Vale, son yeah. los hijos. Who we got scurvy dogs? Es el hijo de Guy Bruce. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. Tienen uñas de los pies dentro, son como pies. We just did big whoop. Big whoop. Oh boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long bueno, story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Bueno. A nadie le suena esto. Es un poco como Star Wars. El despertar de la fuerza. Un poquito fándome, pero bueno. Vamos a ver en qué acaba esto. Volvemos a empezar a la intro de Monkey Island clásica. Feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling, or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. 
What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck? What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. Claro, tenemos que recordar que Monkey Island 3 no existe aquí. Es decir, esto es según acaba el 2. Todo lo que hemos vivido en el 3 no existe. Es raro borrarse eso de la memoria. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. Buen detalle que tenga que hayan cogido de nuevo a Dominic Armato para la voz de Guy Bruce porque es la misma. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out. But I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> Shouldn't you be on your way to the Scum Bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was just about to head down there. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Bueno, pues vamos a volver. A ver cómo ha cambiado todo en 30 años. A ver, esto ya va apareciendo más. No la mierda. Del principio, del principio me ha parecido una puta mierda, lo siento mucho. Reelect Governor Carla. She's keen on bluntness. Gobernadora Carla. Vaya, ha llegado lejos. Bueno, ahí está el barco de Lechak. Y vamos a hablar con los jefes pirata primero, que es lo que tenemos que hacer. Vemos que esto ha cambiado. No está lleno de mesas y tal. Aquí están como haciendo. Es una queimada de grog. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Parece que le chaca influido un poquito en la isla, yo creo. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. <laughs> Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. 
It's not exactly a raid. What else would we be interested in? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, yeah, the slight <laughs> problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. Bueno, vemos que la lista se sigue llenando de cosas ahí. Eso no, no me gusta mucho, pero bueno, si podemos evitar mirarla. Vamos a ver I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Le va a decir lo mismo a todos. <laughs> It'll turn out to be a T-shirt or something. Referencia a las pruebas de antiguamente. A la prueba esa de acabar. Me llevo ese libro. Preguntas. Al fondo del escumbar está la cocina. No sé para qué sirve esto, pero bueno. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. It's those three clowns at the back table. <laughs> nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Fine. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey! A ver, los escenarios están guays, pero los personajes no sé. El estilo que tienen es raro. 
Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm thinking I'll steal one. As far as I know, the only ship out there is the Chucks. Even better. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> Bold. I like your thinking. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Looks like a mugshot. Active little guys, aren't they? Bueno, como veis el juego se maneja con dos botones. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Then you have a packet of stick-on stars. Pests or garnishes. A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Will you advance me the down payment on a ship if I help you clean up? Put that down before you hurt yourself. What? Clearly there's a lot you don't know about mops. Honestly, I think I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> well, it's definitely a mop. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. <laughs> Pleasantly scorching hot. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Ah, vale, claro. La gaviota era una referencia a Loom. Y a su vez, esto es una referencia says, a in memory of looming seagulls of old. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Pues cojamos el cordel. Para nos servirá. Hay que mirarlo todo en estos juegos, ya lo sabéis. Voy a robar el cuadro. Stay away from that picture. <laughs> Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, joke never gets old. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Tengo la armadura esta de mierda que no sirve para nada del DLC por comprar el juego, pero vamos. A ver, It's hopeless. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. Bueno, vamos para afuera. Vamos a volver a intentarlo. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got exactly? I completed the three trials. Trials? It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Yes. How clever. Le barco. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seats. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? A short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? 
I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. Maybe Slobby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. You've got a mop, job is pay. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Smith. John Smith. Uh-huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Hey, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, Hostia, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. All well, their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. Vale. Tenemos logro desbloqueado por los fans. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Vamos a... Entrar a la cocina a ver si podemos hacernos con la fregona. Que yo creo que no. Stay away from that picture. I said not to touch that. You don't use someone else's mop. Why not? The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single oh, yeah, perfect yeah, instrument yeah. that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. 
You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover oh, for yourself. It. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. What kind of wood did you say the tree was? <laughs> no, was I yet. didn't. What kind of wood did you say the tree was? I didn't. Bueno, vamos okay, a la I guess I'll do it. De... What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Bueno, continuamos después de ese... de esa interrupción. Vamos a seguir viendo Melee, cómo ha cambiado. Aunque esto ya lo hemos visto en capturas y todo eso. Lo que no hemos visto son las demás islas que haya. Está muy cambiado, Elaine? sí. Aquí está Elaine. Guybrush. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine. Guybrush. I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. Bueno, ya tenemos la primera enemiga del juego, por lo que se ve. You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me, that is the easy way. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye 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 first. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No nos dan logro. Está hecho para que intentemos leer la placa. Honoring Melee Island's 27th Governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santa Catalina. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. Vale. No podemos arrancar las dos veces. Vemos que hay muchas menos puertas. A ver qué hora es. Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. If any clock were the exception to that rule, it would be this one. Bueno, tenemos la tienda de Wally. Tenemos la casa internacional de Mojo, o Mojo, que es donde la Budú. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Bueno, Madison Enterprise. oh, this was my favorite novelty store. They're having a half-off sale. Y vemos que la... Going out of business? This place is an institution. La del va a oh, the voodoo here must be authentic, be culturally and historically accurate. Y no sé vamos a primero. Vamos a ver a Wally primero, venga. Hey, Wally. 
Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Hay que recordar que el Wally que conocemos en Monkey Island 3 aquí no existe, o sea, no está en un balcón, no se enroló en ningún barco de Lechak ni nada de eso. Eh, la última vez que le vimos fue en la isla aquella de Lechak que salió volando cuando la explotamos, por eso dice eso. Voy a ir al servicio a echar un pis y vuelvo. Dame un minutito.
bueno, ya estoy por aquí otra vez, voy a hacer una cosa voy a cortar directo y ahora vuelvo otra vez porque quiero cosillas Ratoni López dijo Isla Dinky lo lograste tener el juego eh, sí ¿qué tal? Eh, vuelvo en un minuto, corto directo y arranco otra vez porque quiero pasar a YouTube ya la primera horita de juego así que así la voy exportando vuelvo en un minuto Buenas, Ratón y López, ahora hablamos.